Solano Community Colleges is constructing a new 30,000 square foot biotech building and capturing data in Bimgini to use for asset management. James Buchanan, Director of Facilities, shares how they use Bimgini for existing and newly constructed facilities. The bio program, biotech uh, program that we have um, is going to be a four-year program now here at the college, so that's be our, our first four-year program for this college. And what's going to be unique about that is um, we're going to be a theater school for Genentech, which is catty-cornered to the campus. Um, so they've tried to uh, model a lot of the, um, the lab space and so forth after these types of buildings like Genentech. And um, it was um, based a lot also on the University of North Carolina uh, biotech building over there that we had one of our professors, Jim DeClo, you know, flew out and took a look at. <clears throat> and so that's what he wanted to try and emulate, emulate this program, um, you know, the model was that. What that's going to have is going to have actually uh, two clean rooms in it that will um, that'll be set up exactly like clean clean rooms in an actual biotech uh, environment. Even though these are these are going to be learning tools and, and not actually you know be uh, performing. I don't I don't believe a lot of the research you know that it, that the real biotech program would be doing. This is. This is an instructional program, but it'll be set up to, to mimic the whole thing. We'll have clean rooms that you have to go through just to get into, into these areas that, you know, you'll have to gown and be, uh, um, I'm not sure how they're going to decontaminate and then, you know, go in, the, the students will go in and actually work in that environment, you know. Um, and that building right now is slated to be done, I believe, this June or July. So it's coming right along. It's all closed in, the roof's on, it's weathered in. Um, and now they're actually starting the sheetrock as we're talking right now. What, what we're doing, we're working hand in hand with them, as you know. Um, uh, Bim Genie has supplied some uh, templates for them uh, through, um, through the Excel spreadsheets and with instructions on, on how to import um, the data that we're requiring as a maintenance department for the equipment that's going into that building. Um, and the equipment that we've earmarked, you, you know, to be, uh, to be put into the system by the architect firm and construction, uh, the construction uh, team is um, a lot of our MEP equipment um, will be inputted into those spreadsheets with the OM um, description on the maintenance of that um, and we have a whole list of material that they're gonna uh, there be data they'll be entering in that for us from warranties time of in installation um, type of equipment uh, what type of preventive maintenance it is is a quarterly semi-annual annual biennial inspections um, they'll be able to tie in um, links to that for technical service uh, links even to the manual OM manual so that the technician um, the technician could go out there and use his his smartphone to let's say he's looking at an air handler that's having a problem right um, let's say we're having a problem with a pillow block bearing on it he can actually right there on his cell phone pull up the work orders uh, through the uh, BIM genie um, and actually Pull, pull up the PM and look on the PM and on that PM anything that was linked on that spreadsheet that was input we can export that into that preventive maintenance work order and have all the technical links if he needed to look up a part he could actually go into uh, the service manual if we wanted them to put that in there he could go in the service manual right there off his phone and see what part number that is and then if he needed technical service he could go into the technical service portion, that link if it was added, and he can, he can uh, get the phone numbers right off that and right there from his phone, call and ask about the information on that and you know, maybe get some technical uh, advice on what he should be doing on that. Right. You know, so there's a, there's a, that's what our goal is you know, for, to have all that imported for us. You know, so that when that building comes online, 
All we have to go is go into the BIM Genie and create a preventive maintenance work order and all that information we can export off that Excel spreadsheet and import it into the work order. And that's, that's the unique part about that. We don't have to, we no longer have to put that information um, in ourselves and take all that time, manpower, you know, to go out there and, and, and do all the legwork ourselves or hire a contractor after the fact to come in and do that for us. We're implementing that into, um, into the contracts now. Um, like our new science buildings come online, that's going to be implemented into the contract. That that's part of their requirements to supply all that information into the uh, into the spreadsheet, uh, the BIM Genie portion of that, and supply us with all that information.